Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Happy New Year! Um, I am so excited. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me. So I don't typically subscribe to the New Year, New Me uh, mantra, but I do think that with a new year and with different milestones throughout um, our lives, different seasons and things like that, uh, do give us a time to reflect on um, our past and also set maybe some goals in things for the future. So that's what I want to do today with you guys. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, so 2023 goals. Let's first talk about 2022 it was a struggle for me for 2022. I feel like I'm singing the same song as I sang in 2021. I just never got my footing. And I think if I can pinpoint my reason why, I wanna say it's because I never had a plan for 2022. Um, I just thought, okay, if I do it, it's gonna get done. But I never set goals or um, milestones to hit so that I can keep myself on target and on track. And that's what I want to do for 2023. So uh, this is my list of things that I'm going to be doing for 2023. It's in no um, particular order or anything. Um, well, that's not true. It's an order of priority, not necessarily order of completion. Uh, so some of these things are going to get done before others, but it is in the list of things that I absolutely uh, feel like will make me feel like 2023 is a success. Okay, uh, so let's jump right into it. Uh, you guys are already here. If you have liked, comment and subscribe to this video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go. Okay, so I have it on my phone here. <laughs> um, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing, just trying to check off my list. So my 2023 goals, some of these goals are my financial goals, which I share a lot of that on this channel with you guys and will continue to do. And then there are some personal goals on here as well. Um, I'm so excited. So number one, my first high priority goal that I want to do is I want to move out. So if you're new here, um, I have shared my story with uh, after separation and divorce, I moved back in with my mom. And honestly, I have just had so much anxiety about um, moving out and taking care of my children on my own, on just my income. Uh, sometimes I get child support, sometimes I don't, but I never wanted to put myself or my children in a position where we would not be able to make it or survive if I couldn't do it. And I know now that that is really just fear. I have worked really, really hard to uh, put myself in the position I'm in, financially speaking. I've worked really, really hard at my job. And I think I need to just kind of step on on faith a little bit and trust that everything is going to happen. So my first high priority goal is I will be moving out in 2023. Uh, going along with my high, uh, with moving out, I know that um, to make that process easier, I need to pay off my debt. And so I would also like to pay off my credit card debt. It's over $7,000. And I just know that with paying those minimum payments, I think my total minimum payments right now is about $300. If I don't have that expense, if I have lowered that expense, that'll just make it that much easier for us to live comfortably um, in our own home and kind of continue the same lifestyle that we currently have. So I would like to pay off. Uh, goal number one is to move out. Goal number two is to pay off all of my credit card debt. Uh, the third thing that I want to do in 2023 is I want to take the kids on a cruise. Um, I've already planned the cruise and picked out where I want to go, um, but that's kind of what I want to do. I've noticed that like I have a bug for traveling and I think every other year I want to do a big vacation and then the off year I want to do kind of a smaller vacation. So in 2021, um, we went to Vegas. That was a pretty big vacation for us just because uh, it was really the first time that the kids remember traveling and um, we just did so many things there. And then in 2022, we went to California to see my grandpa. So for 2023, I'm going to take them on a seven day cruise and um, that's going to cost some money. So um, I need to keep things in order, but I think I saw it on, um, I used to watch, or I still do, but I watched Sarah Ray Vargas here on YouTube and she was talking about when um, 
she was paying off her debt and she was just so focused that she started uh, taking trips, like many trips throughout the year, just to kind of keep her motivated. And that's kind of what I want to do. I don't want um, our life to always be about finances or budgeting or debt. I kind of want to throw some fun in there. And so we're going to go on a cruise for 2023. Uh, this is not a um, financial related goal, but I need to find a primary care physician. Um, I I have struggled with that this year because when you, um, I, I use Multicare and when I'm on their app, it's like months on out before I can see a physician, but I've just been really struggling with uh, a lot of health stuff and I want to get that in check. I want to take better care of myself um, and so that I can be around as long as possible for my children. Uh, so I do need to find a primary health uh primary care physician for 2023. Um, and since we're talking about like medical stuff right now, um, I need to find a therapist. Just a lot has happened and I have compacted it all and held it all in. And I just feel like a good release, a good therapist, somebody who is not um, biased. You know, obviously when you talk to friends and you talk to family, they are a hundred percent on your side and they support you and love you and they see your side, but I kind of need somebody else to talk to. Um, I also don't want to trauma dump on my family and friends. I kind of, you know, want to have a different type of relationship with them. So, um, I want to find a therapist for 2023. I had one before, um, but <laughs> Uh, we didn't agree. He thought I should get a divorce. I guess he was right. But um, maybe I'll go back to him or maybe I'll find a new one that kind of fits better with what I uh, like and believe and things like that. Um, this one is back to kind of budgeting related, more um, just kind of a personal business goal of mine. I did, I think I sold 70 items this year on Etsy. And for my next goal for 2023, I want to do 100 Etsy items. Um, I have already started planning, um, releasing more items so that I can generate more income and attraction to my page. But I want to make that more of a priority for 2023 as well. Um, I don't want it to be a hobby. I want it to absolutely be a business, um, part-time income, full-time income. It would be awesome. I just, I don't want to cap my uh, visions of what it could be, but I want to give it its fullest potential so that it can grow. Um, so that's my goal for 2023. I want at least a hundred sales. Um, I also want to create digital products so that people can do instant downloads. Um, I'm learning and I hope that 2023 I get to do that. And the final thing for 2023 is I want to run a 10K. Uh, this is another health and fitness goal that I have. I was running in 2022 and then I just had major back pain. Like I've been going to um, a chiropractor for the past six months because I just had a huge flare up. I don't know if it's corrected or not, but I still would really, really love to finish my year for 2023 in a 10K. Um, I'm going to find some local 5Ks around uh, and just start running in those. And then hopefully that'll give me the courage and the momentum to complete a 10K. Like I want to run it. I don't want to walk it. I want to run my run. I want to run at my pace. Um, so that's going to complete my 2023 goals. Have you guys already started your goal planning? Um, I saw somebody else who did a word for the year. And for me, I think 2023, I want my word to be progress. I want to keep moving forward. I want to keep going. And I just truly believe that if whatever thing I'm doing, as long as it's something towards my goal, then um, eventually I'll get there. So that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have you set up your goals already? If you have, comment down below and kind of give your year for 2023 a word and let's kind of chit chat and talk. Um, I hope that you are already subscribed to my channel and you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.